All right, knife tube. Here we are on a fun knife Friday with a fixed blade pay it forward knife. Now this knife right here um, was graciously donated by Tobias over at Knife Chats with Tobias. Him and Skip uh, <laughs> to show had this Mexican Oaxaca Taurus knife that they wanted to send out. And the whole idea is to uh, pay it forward. So he sent this out to one of his um, supporters, who is also one of my supporters that I got to know from doing uh, Tom's channel chat, and he goes by the user of BDH. So his tag is at BDH3949. And I got communicating with him because me and Tom, uh, you know, we were in those Western knives, and I picked up quite a few, and me and Tom actually did a uh, Saturday morning channel chat on his show, so I started communicating with BDH on Western knives. So he got this sent to him from Tobias um cuz he of course commented on the video Tobias sent it to him and BDH doesn't have a YouTube channel but he wanted to see this thing pass forward to a YouTuber and then sees what and uh then uh you know see where it goes from there uh this right here is like I said the Oaxaca Mexican tourist knife now Tobias said these are forged this way you know it's got some writing on both sides here and now I don't speak Spanish but Palomas, no, see Hagen, Bola, <laughs> Quial, except, I, I don't know. You guys know me. I'm just an old country boy from West Virginia. Let me down here. We got MS Medina, you know, Oaxaca, Mexico, boys. We got a, I don't know, fighting eagle there or something. I don't know. But this is cool. Look at this piece, man. This reminds you of something like a, I don't know, a Spaniard getting off the boats carrying to, to take over the motherland or something. I, I don't know. Uh, so BDH, he reached out to me and he wanted to see his thing on YouTube. And I said, sure, send her over to me by God. I'll I'll put her on YouTube and also also find someone to, to either pay a knife of mine to or I'll send this one to him. Um, but if we look at this thing, uh, see how long she is. Man, she is like 11 and 7 eighths inches long, total length. Uh, let's look at the old blade here and see how long this blade is. We'll put her on the six. She goes to 13 and a half. So, man, shoo, boy. So, she's seven and a half inch of blade length here. Cutting length, well, we're already on the seven. It goes to 13 and a half. So, you know, it's six and a half inches just in cutting length you got here. But let's look at the guard here on this thing. Some type of, I don't know, it feels like aluminum maybe. Then the scales. You know, I'm not sure what those scales are made of. We got double pin there. Got this pommel. Got a lanyard hole even. And it looks like, you know, it's made to look like, you know, that eagle's beak. Kind of, you know, if you look right there, look at how she looks. Oaxaca Mexican tourist knife. So, you know, you can put an edge on this if you wanted. You know, we got the nice wedge here on top. You can even sharpen both sides of that if you wanted to, by golly. Yeah. So what I did, you know, I don't know much about these, but I want to keep this thing going. And, you know, I was with J.O. Ventures last weekend. I told him, I was like, hey, I'm get, I got this knife from BDH, who's a great supporter of a lot of different channels out there. And I said, I got this knife, but I said, I, I'll probably pay it forward. Um, because I want to see where this thing ends up. And uh, old Jovo, J.O. Venture Outdoors, said he's game because I was going to send him some stuff anyway. There's a few people on YouTube that I uh, kind of communicate with, and he's one of them and uh, that I send stuff to once in a while just to kind of keep the content fresh. So I'll pack up this and a few other knives and send it his way, and he can review it and review some other knives that I have. It keeps us from having to buy a lot of inventory, guys, but uh, let's weigh this bad puppy and see what she weighs here. Only 6.25 ounces. I mean, that's like the weight of a like a regular 112, probably. I don't know. But we'll look at it compared. You know, BDH, he is a, loves the Western knives. So here's a Western. We'll compare it to. I thought, I, what do I got a Western that it kind of kind of is a little funky, you know, because BDH center. So I thought I'll just break out this, what is this? This is an L39, L for leather, 
39 for the model number. But look at that side by side. She's a little shorter, but you know, it's kind of a kind of a cool design. And I thought, you know, BDH center. So we let's break out something old BDH likes to see, and that's a Western knife. And you know, why not do it here on a, a fun fixed blade pay it forward Friday, guys? And there's the old L39 inside the sheath. That's part of that five knife lot I got. I don't think I've even put that on video yet. I'm not sure. We'll play on knives on uh, Tom's uh, Knife Delights channel chat. So like I said, if you guys want to uh, see that, just go to Knife Delights. And I don't know, it's probably a month and a half ago we did that. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to tag the original two videos that Tobias put up regarding this knife. And, you know, uh, BDH uh, sent those videos to me. You know, I try to catch as many videos as I can, but when you're working and and doing different stuff and then you got so many people that you uh, kind of communicate with on YouTube and watch on YouTube, it's hard to catch every single video that everybody puts out. It's 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 impossible to tell you the truth. But, you know, I try. And I try to leave comments and stuff like that, but look at that. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. This is a cool deal. And, you know, Tobias is a staple in the community that everyone enjoys watching. So why not get this knife that come from Tobias out to as many people as possible? And you don't know, heck, J.O. Ventures, he may decide to keep this and pay one of his own for it. Well, you, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. You just don't know. Yeah, guys. But anyway, there she is, the Oaxacan Mexican Taurus knife. Double pin construction. You know, fits in the hand. Look at that, how she looks. <laughs> yeah, boys. So what I'm going to do, I'll tag Tobias's videos. I'll tag Tobias. I want to, again, I want to thank BDH for reaching out to me to get this knife too. And like I said, I'm going to pay it forward to J.O. Ventures. I'm going to tag him. I'm going to tag a little bit of everything. You guys can watch the original videos on this. But we're already at seven minutes. So, uh, guys, don't forget, uh, this weekend uh, we got the Knife Doctor on Happy Hour Live Chat. So be sure you set your reminder for that as well. He's kind of new to the scene, but man, he blew up. He does a lot of work with a lot of older knives to kind of save them. Um, puts videos out of him going to flea markets and stuff and wheeling and dealing. And he's one of Terry's friends. So, you know, he's going to be jammed up and jelly tight. And I can't wait to get him on the show and, and kind of pick his brain a little bit. Um, but that's uh, going to be Sunday, 530 Eastern, 430 Central. So be sure you tune in for that. We got plenty of giveaway stuff. Doom Crew and me made a trade. And he said a, a killer little giveaway knife. And we may give that away this weekend, you know, since it's fresh on my mind. And, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. And we're doing the long-term uh, raffle tickets to win this Queen Burton Trout knife that uh, Georgia Adventure donated through EDC Leatherworks. But, guys, be sure you tune in for that. And follow this knife on its journey. I'm sure... That J.O., heck, he always used, he always likes to start playlists with stuff like this. And he may even start his own playlist so people can kind of watch all of them. But there she is, fella, the Oaxaca Mexican Taurus Knife. Follow her along on her journey. It may end at J.O., it may go further. We just don't know, guys. All right, hey, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. You know I like talking to you guys out there. And while you're at it, stay sharp and stay strong.